Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is the narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we want to talk about the type of scavenging process. And in today video, we will see loop scavenging. What are the advantage of loop scavenging? What are the disadvantage of loop scavenging? And then we will see cross scavenging and its advantages and disadvantages. In the third part, uniform scavenging, we will discuss in a next video. Before beginning the video, I want to tell you that this is the beginning of turbocharger series. This is the second part. In first part, I have made the video regarding scavenging and supercharging. I will suggest that you should watch that video also so that you should have a clear knowledge about the process of scavenging and supercharging. So let's begin the video. Please friend, before beginning the video, I want to make a request that please do share and please do subscribe my YouTube channel so that you keep me encouraging to post this type of video in the upcoming future. Let's begin the video of the part 2 of turbocharger. What are the type of scavenging process? There is three different type of scavenging process and each one is a modification which is being done to achieve maximum efficiency. So it's very important. What I mean to say that there are three methods, loop scavenging, cross scavenging and uniform scavenging. All the, these three methods is the development which has taken place one by one over a period of time in a diesel engine means how the modification in the scavenging process is been done to enhance the mechanical efficiency of an engine we will see now first let's begin with the loop scavenging in loop scavenging have both exhaust and scavenge port arrange around the periphery at the lower end of the liner. In loop, air enter through scavenge port, pass over the piston crown and rise it from a loop within a cylinder, expelling gas through exhaust port cut in the same side of the liner above the scavenge port. So what do I mean is that in earlier engine, in earlier engine, what used to happen? This is the exhaust port. This is the scavenge port. Both port is been cut in a liner. As the both port are cut in a liner, so during after the exhaust is completed, the exhaust will be driven out through this exhaust port when the piston is in BDC. While the piston is in BDC and as it cover the scavenge port the incoming fresh air will drive out the remaining exhaust gas from the piston crown from top of this piston crown and the combustion space through this exhaust port and as the piston will move up and cover the scavenge port it will mark the beginning of compression stroke but what the problem is like as both inlet and exhaust port are situated above the inlet port the blowdown led to a given exhaust appear at the lag of at the port closing this can overcome by light quick acting nrv valve transfer space between air manifold and inlet port this prevent backflow into the air manifold during the blowdown period okay so basically what is happening that a blowdown is occurring when the as the both exhaust port and the scavenge port is being provided here to prevent the air blowdown a quick acting nrv valve is fitted so that the air blowdown can be prevented from the scavenge space to the exhaust space okay now let's see what are the advantages of loop scavenging 
सिंपल मेथड विदाउट एडिशनल रनिंग गियर सच एस टर्बो चार्जर इन लूप स्कैवेंजिंग द टर्बो चार्जर वॉज नॉट इन डेवलपमेंट वॉज नॉट इन यूज एंड हेंस द लूप स्कैवेंजिंग कैन बी इम्प्लॉयड ऑन अ इंजिन वेयर दे इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ अ टर्बो चार्जर दैट इज इन अ वेरी स्मॉल इंजिन नाउ वॉट इज द डिसएडवांटेजेस greater possibility of intermixing between the charge air with the exhaust gas and temperature is higher so less efficiency as power output is affected so what do i mean by that is as the incoming fresh air which is coming and driving out the exhaust gas that air is also a part of a next combustion cycle so some amount of air is getting contaminated as some amount of air is getting contaminated so the overall efficiency of a engine which is filled with the fully fresh air when compared with this air which is having a little contamination with the previous cycle exhaust gas will be less and hence the efficiency of engine will fall down exhaust back pressure may arise due to choke port now as the exhaust port if the exhaust port get choked because of carbonization in that case a back pressure will take back pressure will occur which will prevent the exhaust to drive out and this back pressure may increase the chances of more intermixing of fresh air with the exhaust gas and hence lower the efficiency a sharp temperature difference between the exhaust and scavenge port can lead to thermal crack and distortion very important as you can see the temperature of the scavenge is around 45 to 35 to 50 degree maximum but the temperature of exhaust port is around 250 to 350 degree celsius <clears throat> so basically what is happening as both are situated in the same port in the same area of the liner so there will be a temperature gradient difference as scavenge is having a temperature of 35 to 50 and exhaust having a temperature of 250 to 350 so this temperature gradient difference in a such a small area can lead to the thermal distortion and also development of thermal crack because of large temperature gradient difference okay now let's see how a loop scavenging liner look so as you can see this is the scavenge port and this is the exhaust port so basically what is happening when the scavenge port in close still some amount of exhaust port will be remaining open which can lower the efficiency again so to overcome this problem there modification in design was done for cross scavenging in cross scavenging what we are doing we have done this thing that scavenge port is placed on one side of the liner and exhaust port is placed on the other side of the liner so the problem of large temperature gradient difference can be prevented secondly the exhaust back pressure or air blow down can be prevented let's see what is cross scavenging scavenge air is admitted through scavenge port is directed upward passing over the cylinder cover and down opposite side expelling the exhaust gas through exhaust port very simple the scavenge air is coming here it is moving upward driving out the remaining exhaust gas to the other side of the exhaust port 
Okay. Now, when we compare cross scavenging with a loop scavenging, it is found that the chances of intermixing is there in both cases, cross and loop. But the amount of intermixing, the amount of intermixing is less in cross scavenging as compared with the loop scavenging and hence the efficiency of cross scavenging is more. Let's see in the picture how a cross scavenging port looks. So as you can see, this is the scavenge port and this is the exhaust port. Both are placed on the either side of the liner so that there should be a proper chance can be reduced of a thermal mixing and large temperature gradient difference can also be reduced. So I hope in this video I have given you a clear idea regarding cross scavenging and loop scavenging. In my upcoming video I will be uploading about the uniflow scavenging. Uniflow scavenging is right now in use and is being applied to all the engines which are in use. Loop scavenging and cross scavenging are now obsolete and are no more in function and no more in use and but you should know about this because if anybody asks you about the development of scavenging you should have to tell from loop to the cross and what are the advantages what are the disadvantages and how the design is better as compared with the old one please remain tuned for my other video and please do hit the like the hit the like and subscribe button thank you friend have a good day